Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to get our next setup of a foundation wall. So we have a stem foundation wall here with a concrete footer and sill plate in a proper location underneath of the floor system where the sheathing and then siding runs down past the floor system over top of the um, sill plate. So in order to go ahead and get this set up, we're going to have to take the wall system that we've been working with up until this point and make a few alterations. So I'm going to jump into the wall system where we've been working. We've done this so far so that we have our floor system as our finished floor above our level one. Then we have our uh, two by six stud and that is being uh, broken by the floor system so that the uh, two by six stud is gonna be built on top of the uh, plywood sheeting and then the OSB and vinyl run past the floor system. Now down here, this is where we're gonna have our two by six sill plate, but we can also see we still have a small piece of gypsum wallboard down here. This is what needs to get cleaned up in this next uh, setup for our wall systems. Okay, to get started with a stacked wall, I'm gonna go back to my level one so I can access my wall systems. And I'm gonna take the basic wall generic six and edit type, I'm gonna duplicate it. And I'm gonna call this a two by six sill plate. And I'm gonna call out that this is pressure treated. All right, so it's pressure treated lumber, lumber two by six sill plate. That's the name. And now I'm gonna jump into the structure and go ahead and set up the material structure for this. And we'll just set this up as wood. And I'm gonna go and find, here is a structure wood joist uh, rafter. Uh, I'll just grab any one of these at this point. And then I'm gonna duplicate that material, duplicate selected material. Actually, do we have it? Well, we'll duplicate that, that's fine. And with the duplicated, I'm gonna jump into the identity here, and I'm gonna go ahead and call this uh, two by six uh, sill plate and pressure cheating. All right, so this is pressure treated. I'm gonna copy this paste this into the description as well, hit apply, hit okay. So now we got a two by six sill plate here and then the thickness of the sill plate is gonna be an inch and a half. Oh, I'm sorry, five and a half. This is the thickness. This is if I'm building a wall, but it's only gonna be a sill plate uh, wall material and the thickness of the wall is five and a half because the sill plate is a two by six. The sample height for this particular sill plate is going to be one and a half inches because it's a one and a half, so it's a two by six, inch and a half by five and a half. So this is now set up uh, as my sill plate. I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. Now I can see my sill plate here, my uh, preview. This is all good. I'm going to hit OK. Now I can go ahead back to the section. And I can start building a stacked wall system. So to do this, uh, we're going to go ahead and again grab our wall tool. And this time we're going to pull down our walls and head all the way down to the bottom here until we find these stacked walls. So I'm going to grab the only stacked wall in the uh, Revit system here. And I'm going to then edit this type and I'm going to duplicate. Don't want to get rid of it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to call this uh, two by six. And we're going to go ahead and use uh, pretty much a similar uh, designation as we did for the last wall. So it's a two by six stud and we have uh, inch or half inch OSB and we're also going to have <coughs> a half inch siding and we're then going to have half inch gypsum wall board. So with this setup, we have that, but now I'm also gonna add to this a two by six sill. All right, 
So I have all this information in my wall now, so I know what's going to be here. Then I can go into my structure and grab edit, and this is where I can start adding and deleting things. Well, the first thing here that I don't need anymore is this particular um, wall. So I'm going to come in here, and instead of having this exterior brick on metal stud, I'm going to go and find my 2x6, there it is, 2x6 stud, half inch OSB vinyl, that's my wall. So then I'm going to come down here for my next piece on my wall, and I'm going to come down and grab my 2x6 sill plate, pressure treated, and you can start to see this changing up over here. This is my preview of what the wall would look like in section. So now I'm going to start looking at the heights. Well, my sill plate's not three inches in height. My sill plate is going to be an inch and a half because that's how high a sill plate is. That's how thick it is. And then this wall will continue to be variable because this will vary with the height of my um, levels that I'm attached to. So with this setup, we can now start looking at where the sill plate's located. Well, obviously, I want to get the sill plate centered up uh, underneath of the stud itself. So I'm looking at the sill plate, I'm looking at my offsets here. I need to be able to move this a little bit one way or the other. But I also want to take a look here at the core center line. Am I working with core center line or I'm going to be working with finished face exterior, interior, or core face exterior? Well, most of the stuff that we've been drawing in this course so far has been core face exterior. So I'm going to stick with that. And then I'm going to utilize my offset here so that I can then offset this. And I'm going to offset this over. Um, negative half inch. When I do that, now my stud is lining up, uh, my sill plate, my stud line up. The next thing I need to do is just have my OSB and my uh, vinyl siding be able to run down past the sill plate. So to do this, I'm actually have to jump back into the wall where I originally built the uh, first uh, two by six stud with OSB and open up the ability for this to be modified. So I'm going to get out of here now. I'm going to say OK to that. I'm going to say OK to this. And I'm going to go find my original wall. So that's my stacked wall down here. I'm going to go back up to the top. Here's my 2x6. This is my original 2x6 wall. Zoom in. So I'm going to want to see this up pretty close. When I jump in here to edit, this is where I'm going to then modify these layers. So I'm going to use this Modify button here sit over the top of the bottom it highlights very lightly i'm going to select it and then there's a small lock i have to sit over top of that lock until it turns red and then i can left click and it will unlock that unlocks the ability for these two particular layers to be uh, pulled further down than other aspects of the wall i'm not going to do this to the gypsum wall board i want that to stay up top so I'm going to let these be the way they are, hit OK, hit Apply, hit OK. Now I'm going to go jump back into that stacked wall, come back down here. There's my stacked wall here, edit this. And then these two here should be active when I start moving and playing around with this wall. All right, so we should be good to go. So we'll get back out of here. Now I just want to get back into section and take a look at what's happening here. So this is my original wall. I'm going to go ahead and pull my new wall into position. And now I can see, well, there's some things in the wall that are going to have to change or just delete that in the wall. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to get this set up properly. So we're going to take the wall itself and we're going to take a look at this and see what's happening. It says that this is going down to the top of foundation. That's correct. This uh, floor system needs to run over so that the floor system is going to intersect with the boundaries of the wall. So we'll go zoom in here, grab the floor system, drag this out so it's underneath the stud, and see what we just did here. Now we're gonna join some things together. So we'll grab the wall system, the join tool, floor, wall, and things clean up nicely. So you can see that the two by six sill is in position. Uh, my floor system cleaned up, my um, subfloor runs across and we're looking good. Last thing that I think we're going to need to do here is start pulling this information down over top of the sill plate. All right, so this is very clear to see what needs to happen here. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and select the stacked wall. We'll hit edit type, jump into the structure again. And I always like to come into the wall here to take a look at what's happening. 
And then we're going to utilize this uh, column where it says base. So I'm going to highlight the whole thing. I'm going to type in negative space one and a half inches because I want it to go down. So if I click anywhere else in any column, you'll see now that the OSB and the uh, vinyl siding are running down past the sill, but the gypsum wallboard is not. So that's how we're going to want to have this work out. Hit apply, hit OK. Now we jump back into our section and it is all set up nice and clean.